Hi, this is Deanna, and today I want to talk to you about automatic WordPress updates. So you may receive an email that comes to you with the name of your website and the message in the subject line, your site has been updated to WordPress version whatever. So this is, I believe, a very good thing. Um, after WordPress 3.7, WordPress instituted automatic updates for what are considered minor releases. So just to kind of give you an overview quickly on software, typically when there would be a version like 4.0, um, that would be considered a major version. After they make an update to a major version, there may be smaller updates that take place that can fix minor bugs that are found or minor um, functionality improvements. And those are typically represented by, in this case, 4.2.4. Um, so it could be 4.3 would be considered a minor update, 4.4. At some point down the line, if it jumps to five, that would be considered a major update. Major updates are normally recommended that you do manually, which means the notification that there is a new version of Windows, you go into your WordPress dashboard and you update Windows from there. Minor releases, these 4.2.4 versions, are now updated automatically. You can turn this off, but I really recommend that you don't. You typically do not have a problem with a minor WordPress update. Uh, unless there is a plug-in conflict, and we can talk about that in another video. So the important thing to understand is this is nothing to be concerned about. You do want to go and check your website and make sure any of the plugins that you have installed are still working properly. Um, when it's a minor WordPress update, there generally isn't too much of a conflict, but it's a good idea to check. And again, nothing to be concerned about. It's a good thing. And I'm going to um, go on one of my annual and perhaps it should be monthly rants about keeping your website updated. Uh, I got a call again in the last two weeks from a past client whose website was down. I mean, it was completely gone. There was nothing but a white screen if you typed in their, their domain name. So we had to go through a process because they were not on a maintenance program with my company. We do offer maintenance programs where you can pay an annual fee. We go in on a monthly basis or whenever there is an update and make sure all the WordPress files are updated, your plugins, your themes are all updated. We do, we monitor your backups. We monitor um, some of the security aspects with scans, that type of thing. This client did not have that, and they were not going in and updating WordPress and the plugins or checking on these things themselves. So what happened? Their site had been hacked, and this is actually the second time that this uh, website has been hacked. And you may think that hackers go after huge websites, you know, the New York Times or the government websites, and they do, but typically those sites have very good security, obviously. This was a small company. I mean, this is not a big company. And uh, it's unfortunate, but it's kind of like the problems that people have with Windows operating systems. Um, because WordPress is so widely used, uh, there are people that try and exploit vulnerabilities in, the, in a website. And the vulnerability is if you don't keep it up to date. And if you need to see how to do that, there is a video on my YouTube channel um, that shows exactly how to do it. I'm go actually going to do um, an updated one. The process really has not changed very much, but it is extremely, extremely important that you keep your site up to date. You really only need to do it once a month. As long as you stay on top of it, typically once a month is okay. Um, if you are further concerned about it, we've actually um, tested a WordPress plugin. I believe it's called WordPress All-in-One Security that has some additional protection associated with it. We haven't had any problems with it. It's been configured um, really well. It's very simple to use, 
but the bottom line is you need to keep your plugins and WordPress files up to date. So, so much for today's lecture. Once again, um, we've got an update here. It's a considered a minor update. So I've actually received probably a dozen of these emails this morning, um, primarily because I have several websites, plus we do have uh, client websites that we maintain that we are the point of contact for the hosting company and I received all these notifications. So in this case, my website, DIYonlinemarketing.net, was updated automatically. This is simply a confirmation letting me know that happened. Uh, once again, don't forget to keep your monthly updates. It takes five minutes, I swear to you, as long as you stay on top of it, it really does not take you very long to update your website. So that's it for today. Hope you all have a wonderful day and keep those sites updated.